Press the bell icon on YouTube and don't miss another update. IAS has been in the news lately. IAS as in Indian Administrative Service. And sadly, it's not been in the news for good reasons. It's been in the news because three IAS officers, senior officers, but of different seniority. In fact, one of 73 batch, 83 batch and 93 batch respectively, uh, led by H.C. Gupta, former coal secretary, have been convicted in what is known as the coal scam and may end up spending quite a bit of time in jail. Now, why is this controversial? If people indulge in corruption, they should be convicted and they should be sent to jail and everybody should celebrate, including the IAS association and the rest. That is because it is a peculiar law under which they have been convicted. This law was not in the original Prevention of Corruption Act in India. There was an amendment later put in which very vaguely said that even if an officer helps somebody gets benefit from something without public interest being involved, he or she can be charged under this law, which means the officer need not have had any made any profit, any gain for himself or herself. But if something was done whereby somebody benefited and the government did not, the offers, officer can be charged criminally for corruption. This law was debated for a long time. It was seen to be unfair and that is why the BJP government when it came to power because it had also majority in parliament and frankly all parties agreed with this amendment, generally parties agreed with some, uh, this amendment. This amendment was repealed and this section of the law was taken away. Now as things stand in our legal system, since cases against these officers were filed when the previous law was in operation they have been convicted under that law and that is why there is an outcry that if the law has changed then in the fairness of things or in the good spirit of things the new law should, should, should apply to these officers and they should not be punished under the earlier one. Now I do not know so much about the intricacies of this. Uh, I have with me Sanya Dhingra, my colleague who has been covering this domain specialist. So, Sanya, tell us a, a little bit about what this law is, just cut the clutter from this. And who are these officers? Just tell us the names and what they were doing. Hmm. So, the Prevention of Corruption Act, um, it was amended earlier this year as you said and one section of this act was particularly problematic which was repealed entirely. This was section 13.1d of the act. So, under this provision, hmm. if any pecuniary advantage is caused to a third party and uh, it is not in the public interest, then the officer can be uh, officer in charge can be con uh, tried and convicted for uh, corruption for corruption for criminal misconduct even corruption. though the officer has not drawn any benefit like in this case like in this uh, case mr hc gupta who uh, is a 70 year old retired is uh, officer uh, mr k s uh, krofa mr Mr. Uh, Casey uh, Samaria. Samaria, who is in fact, who was serving as a joint secretary in the Ministry of Minority Affairs and now has been convicted. So, the there is no, it was never established that there was any quid pro quo or these officers in question uh, made any, uh, gained, anything. gained anything in particular. Yet they So, this could just be an error on their part or an error of judgment. An error of judgment and also something that uh, other IS officers are questioning is, who defines public interest? It's a very subjective way of. Uh, hmm. It's a very ambiguous way in which the law was framed. Um, so there were a lot of problems, which is why the parliament, in its wisdom, had uh, repealed this uh, provision. And now it has come to haunt the the IS officers again, even though just. So what is it that parliament could have done? Why is it that if the law has been repealed, that these people are still still being punished under the old law? Well, Technically, uh, the charges were against the officers were framed when the law was still um, there. So technically, they can be tried for it. But again, an IS officer, someone from the association I spoke to said, uh, well, TADA is gone now, but can you go on convicting people under TADA just because an offence was uh, mm. a criminal act? Or FERA is gone, for an exchange regulation act. Correct. That's gone. Correct. So, uh, what officers are saying is that the law should be followed in its in spirit, and if that was done, these officers would not have been convicted under a repealed a provision Re of this. Repealed law. provision. And generally, the belief is that these are not corrupt officers. Yes. Again, as we not we nobody to judge that, but from whoever we have spoken to, they say that these are completely honest officers, and there has been no track record of bribery or a, even any illusion of it. So. Uh, 
and, and officers are now saying that if such laws are uh, such such uh, convictions are carried out then this will discourage officers from taking any decisions in future. In fact, we've had Mr. Anil Swaroop who has also been coal secretary. Who's a former coal secretary and HRD secretary. Correct. He's written that for us that this will discourage IS officers from taking bold decisions. We had someone from the IS association say that I'd rather have red tapism than, you know, live in this constant fear of being implicated in something that I haven't done. And you know, the funny thing is that 2010 to 12 was the scandal season in India. Everything was called a big scandal. It was 2G, 1,76,000 crores, $2 billion more than India's entire defense budget in that year. There was coal scam or coal gate as it was called, maybe 3 lakh, 3 lakh 50,000 crores, some humongous amount, zeros didn't matter then. Then we had something called Commonwealth Games scam, 75,000 crores people said. Then there was an other scam in Bombay. Then there was something called the Isro Deva scam. What these scams did was, they destroyed many reputations, many names, many people came under trial. In fact, not that many people came under trial, but some came under trial. But the only people convicted so far are these officers. So even in the coal case, for the ministers to get away, for the big businesses to get away, for, uh, for the top officials in the prime, minister, prime minister's office, if decisions were taken there, they have all got away. So it does look like that the system has just caught people with the poorest defense. The lowest hanging fruits. Uh, lo lo uh, the least resources with them. And the interesting thing is that even if the 2G case has ended in acquittals, uh, Adarsh case, there is no conviction. CWG, there is only one case against Suresh Kalmari which is still going on. Games were in 2010. And I will tell you something else very interesting. All of you heard about the Isro Devas case. That was the case in which Isro is supposed to have tied up with a private company uh, to do some deal over spectrum in space. It's very different from telecom spectrum. And then it was called a 2 lakh crore or God knows how many zeros, 3 lakh crore or 7 lakh crore scam. Cases were registered. Mr. Madhavan Nair, who was then the director of Isro, chairman of Isro, uh, he was removed and he was then barred from holding any public office while he was going through investigations. Investigations, investigations are not over. But do you know where Mr. Madhavan Nair is? Just the other day, just two weeks back, he joined the BJP as an honored member. So this is what tells you uh, what is wrong with looking into scandals and politicization of scandals in India. The guilty, if there are guilty, get away. Scandals are exa exa exaggerated. Policy is uh, ruined as a result of that. And finally, while the big guys get away, some smaller fish like I would say these three IS officers, they get caught. So this is how cluttery India's legal and administrative system is. I hope we have been able to make it a bit clearer. Thank you, Sanya. I would not be able to do it without you. So keep watching us uh, every day on YouTube and subscribe to our channel.